Hello everybody, today we have some amazing news from the Microsoft credentials world and we have a brand new applied skill that just got released with the name of implementing information protection and data loss prevention by using Microsoft Purview. Did I mention the cost is absolutely free? You can take it from anywhere in the world. It's a hands-on credential. So you get a lab, you get to do a few tasks to prove that you know the topic and there's no proctor, no scheduling and no cost. I added the link in the description below, but let's take just a few minutes to cover what this applied skill is about. What do you need to know before you go take it? This way we make sure that you pass it from the very first try. First, let's do a quick overview. To earn this Microsoft Applied Skills credential, learners demonstrate the ability to implement Microsoft Purview Information Protection and Microsoft Purview Data Loss Prevention. They validate their ability to discover, classify, and protect sensitive data in Microsoft 365, effectively implementing data security by using Microsoft Purview. Candidates for this credential should be familiar with Microsoft 365 services, Microsoft Purview, and PowerShell. They should understand data classification, sensitivity labels, and policy enforcement. Okay, this is all pretty generic, but Microsoft also gives us a specific list of topics you need to know. They are create a custom sensitive information type, create and publish a sensitivity label, create and assign an auto labeling policy, create a data loss prevention policy, and configure endpoint data loss prevention. So those are the five high level things that you absolutely need to know. And we even have a bit more of a detailed version inside the study guide. So you know what? Let's take a look at it together. Okay, so to get to the study guide, go to the applied skills page. Again, you'll have the quick link directly in the description below. Uh, and then scroll towards the bottom here and you have the study guide for applied skills. Click on it. This will open in a new page. And here we have what are the things or the tasks that you need to do at a glance. So before you take the applied skill, make sure you're able to do all of those things. Create a custom sensitive information type that uses a regular expression or create a custom sensitive information type that uses a keyword list or keyword dictionary. Create a custom sensitive information type from a built-in sensitive information type. Create a document fingerprint classifier. So those are all the different things that it might ask you to create part of the Applied Skill Lab. And if ever, you have a guide, you have a supporting module from Microsoft Learn that will teach you how to do those things. But I highly encourage that you've already done those or you're trying or you're going to try to do them in your lab environment before you take the applied skill. And then for each one of the tasks that we talked about in the slide, you have what are all the different things that it might ask you to do. For example, do you know how to enable sensitivity labels for files in SharePoint and OneDrive? Maybe it's something that was already done for you at your company. Go ahead, start a new trial tenant, test it out yourself, or learn how to do it, and really go through the list. Feel free to print it or to save it somewhere local and highlight what are all the things that you are comfortable doing. And after you're done, let me go back here. Let's go back a second. The only thing you have to do to go take the applied skill, you have to be signed in in Microsoft Learn. Then you go to the bottom here, agree to everything, click on start, and you are ready to take the applied skill. So now my question for you is, is this an applied skill that you are excited about? For me, definitely, even if my main focus is not really security and compliance. It's something that I talk about regularly and I have to do uh, myself a few times. Again, not my main job, but I still have to do it as an M365 admin. So I'll definitely study for it and then go take it soon. But 
Is it something you're interested in? Please let me know in the comments. And also I have a challenge for you. Since we are in October, this is Cybersecurity Month. Share this video with your security and compliance friends or colleagues on LinkedIn. Make sure you tag them and then challenge them to take it. As soon as this video post goes live, I know I will launch the challenge to a few people I know. So make sure you do the same. Let's help everybody become more secure this cybersecurity month. And if you have enjoyed this video and always want to keep up to date with the latest Microsoft credential news, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much again for watching.